Hey crypto fam, this is Chris from Exodus.io and today we're going to compare the two most popular hardware wallets on the market, Trezor and Ledger. Both Trezor and Ledger are hardware wallets, which means they're physical devices that hold the public and private keys for your crypto. This means you need the device in your hand in order to send a transaction. This is accomplished by physically verifying the transaction on the device. We call this type of wallet cold storage. It's arguably much safer than keeping your funds on a hot wallet where the private information can be compromised. It's a trade-off here though. Ease of use and convenience for better security and peace of mind. There are more similarities between the two dominant hardware wallet companies than there are differences. Now, if you're a fan of either, please share your thoughts in the comments below, and then remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Now digging into the similarities and differences. Tracer is open source, and Ledger isn't. Now this might be a deal breaker to some, if they want to audit the wallet code themselves. Tracer and Ledger both support similar amounts of assets. Ledger provides native support for Ethereum-powered assets, while on the Tracer, you'll need to use a third-party ETH wallet such as Exodus or MyEtherWallet. The Tracer One also has limited support for assets like XRP, EOS, ADA, etc. So if you want full asset support, you'll need to pony up the 110 extra dollars for the Tracer Model T. That being said, the amount of memory on the Ledger Nano S is very limited. You can only work with about four or five active assets at one time before you need to remove the wallet and add another one through the Ledger Live app. The Tracer One and Ledger Nano S operate very similar. They have small screens and two-way navigation buttons, which also double as selection buttons. Once you step up to the pricier models, we see some differences, such as screen size and connection options. The Tracer One, Ledger Nano S, and Ledger Blue connect with a USB 2.0 mini plug, while the Tracer Model T has a USB-C connection. Cables are included with all models. Now, the outlier here is the Ledger X, which has a wireless Bluetooth connection, eliminating the need for a cable and can connect to a wallet on your mobile device, which ups the ante for the convenience of security on the go. The Tracer Model T and the Ledger Blue have color touchscreens. While my personal fave was the Ledger Blue for its ability to take an input from my thumbs, I've come to love the high contrast OLED screen on the Model T. Something about the way it reacts when I touch the screen feels smoother than the Blue. The larger models both win here because you can see the entire address at once when confirming a transaction. It's way more difficult to verify an address that kind of scrolls off the screen. Both the Ledger and the Trezor builds are plastic, but Ledger adds a nice foldable metal shroud to protect the hardware. For me, this is more akin to the design of a USB flash drive, which could obscure the fact that it's a hardware wallet. Not so much for the Trezor, but there are third-party solutions to hide the wallet in plain sight. Who wants a taco? One of the friction points to any hardware wallet is software support. Do you need to use a third-party application? Does a wallet have a direct interface or do you manage the transactions through a web interface? Ledger uses a proprietary app for desktop and mobile called Ledger Live. With this app, you can keep track of all your wallet balances and manage your transactions. The app is also bundled with the Ledger Manager to add and remove individual asset wallets, as we mentioned earlier. If you want to use an exchange service, you'll need to go to a third party. Trezor, on the other hand, uses a web interface to connect to the wallet and has native integration inside of Exodus Desktop. When you connect your Trezor Model T or Trezor One to Exodus, it looks and behaves just like everything else, with the one exception, you need to confirm sending funds on the device itself. You can also easily and instantly exchange directly from your Trezor through the Exodus interface. Hardware wallets are currently the standard to secure your funds because of their offline, cold storage characteristics. Which one of these is right for you? 
Well, it really all depends on your particular needs, and all the solutions from both Ledger and Trezor are great options if you're holding more crypto than you can afford to lose. I would encourage you to take the dive and up your security game with a hardware wallet. Please leave a comment below with your thoughts on the current state and future of hardware wallets. And remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel on your way there. Hold on.